Other medicines that can be used topically include the topical calcineurin inhibitors. These are a really interesting category of medicines. They're designed to be steroid sparing medicines. So when we don't want to use too much of those steroids, these are alternatives that are also anti-inflammatory. And they've been around now for quite some time. Two of the, the ones that we use in dermatology are called tacrolimus and pimicrolimus. And these are approved for use in people two years in a, of age and older. So it's not for the little babies uh, at this point. And they are technically suppressing that inflammation and immune response. Another newer medicine that just came out in the past year and a half or so is one called the topical phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor. This is particularly interesting because it's a little bit more targeted than corticosteroids and the calcineurin inhibitors, and I think of it more as just an anti-inflammatory treatment that doesn't necessarily suppress the immune system. So that's attractive because, because of the fact that it's a little bit more targeted means it's not as likely to have some of the other side effects, but it has its own set of side effects as well, including stinging and burning for some patients. And then we'll often use some topical antibacterial creams, and these can be particularly helpful if there's cracking or oozing, where we often know there's staph bacteria on the skin. Of course, if we think there's a true or deeper infection, we'll often use an oral antibiotic as well.